isso! I won't cry for yesterday There's another merry world I think I need to wash my van You seen what that hooligan's done to it? Anyway, hey up. Hope you're all alright I'm just sort of mooching around the Lincolnshire area like you do Is it Lincolnshire this? I think it is I thought I'll go and have a look at Gainsborough because I've got a nice park up planned for later on tonight which I'll show you in a bit So we're just going to have a, a mill around the town and let's start here Check this out So unfortunately this is closed because we're out of season I think it starts next month uh, it's, it's open at the weekends at the moment and I'd have liked to have had a look around that I would have been dead interested It's actually a 15th century uh, house <laughs> and it's got quite a lot of history apparently it's the most well preserved wooden medieval house it's uh, I looked on the website and it's nine pounds to go in which I don't think is that unreasonable and it does look fantastic inside the entrance is round here it's quite an interesting building as part of Gainsborough's history because I'll tell you one thing you know the Mayflower voyage, the Pilgrim, the Pilgrim Fathers and all that that went to uh, America? Well, they were the separatists from the, from the church and they used to hold secret meetings in here. I thought I'd be able to hold the camera up there but I can't reach, that's far too high. That's a shame. I'll see if I can find some images online and flash them up on screen to show you inside because it really does look impressive and I'd definitely like to go in there and that's right next to the, the cenotaph there look let's have a look at the church and let's hope that this one's not locked I would like to have a good look in a church and this is quite an interesting one I love listening to birds and it looks like the church is open So we've got galleries up there on the top It's such an unusual design for a church and when you look at the columns it's almost like a, a theatre you can almost imagine them putting on plays and things here right I presume this is the direction to the town centre and I'm just going to have a mooch around no idea what to expect two interesting buildings there to start with though and I've got one really interesting story about Gainsborough that you'll like but before I do that can I just remind you all if you're not subscribed to please subscribe I've checked on my st uh, stats we get to see a stats in the back end of YouTube and I've checked on there and I think about of all the views I get there's only about 50% of you subscribed so what are you doing don't cost out right what way is the town for reference, it's Wednesday and it's about 12 o'clock, something like that. It's lunchtime, so we'll see how quiet or how busy it's going to be. I've got a feeling it's going to be quiet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at that. I've got the hot chocolate. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? And I've got a bacon sandwich. Don't tell Helen. And that was just £5.60 for all that, so it's a bargain. What's what's Gainesville like then on a the whole? What's your thoughts on it? It's dead. Entertaining, but dead. It's dead. Shops are closing left, right, and centre. Yeah. Um, it's like most towns I get to yeah. these days. This tree yeah. would be dead if it weren't for you We've got the Savoy coming soon. So what's that going to be? You've got a cinema and some other fancy stuff. That looks a lovely butcher's and it's closed. It's a shame. Not that I would have been buying out. What have we got here? Oh, I think we've got a charity shop here. At the, I'm going to have a look. It's a dog rescue charity shop. I like independent charity shops. And they ain't got Helen with me, so I'll not be all there. Well, this is rather nice, and it's right in town centre. So it's like an out of town shopping place, but in the town, it is nice. We'll have a wonder, we'll have a look, see what shops they've got. So we've got Browns, which apparently, according to my sister, is a fairly upmarket place. I mean, I wouldn't know. But then it's right next to Shoe Zone and Poundland. <laughs> that made me laugh. It's a nice looking bar there. Do you know what's quite funny? When I'm coming out vlogging sometimes and doing these town centres, I tend to do the stuff that if I weren't vlogging, I wouldn't do in a month of Sundays. I'd hate it with a passion. If you know if I will like it, it was an average weekend, we're not vlogging. And Helen says something like, oh, let's go around that shopping centre. I'd be like, not going to happen. But yet when I'm vlogging, I do it. I do it for you guys, you see. You see where I put myself through. I'm suffering for my art. I like the range. It's just that everything is like either sparkly or gold. When you go in somebody's house, you'll, you just know that they've kitted it out with the range got the works there my daughter loves it in the works right I need to get away from here as fast as possible the ladies in the cafe earlier told me that Tuesday can be quite busy because they have a market and Saturdays as well that's a busy day Well, this street is particularly quiet and sad. That's a historical reference, that. And it's related to the weather spoons here, which is the Swain fork beard. And you can see on the sign there, there's Mr. Fork beard himself. So, right, this is my interesting fact. Are you ready for this? So that Witherspoons is the Swain Fork Beard. And this is a really interesting piece of history about Gainsborough. Are you ready for this? Drum roll. Gainsborough was once the capital of England for about five weeks. So what happened? Swain Fork Beard. I hope I've pronounced that right. I think I have. He invaded... He was the king of Denmark and he invaded England and they sailed down the Humber and down the Trent where he rested his armies in Gainsborough and while he was here he declared Gainsborough as the capital of England and so it remained for five whole weeks how cool is that and he was some argue the shortest ever monarch of England 
was toad swaying although that's disputed because there's other potentials there's lady grey or something or but i don't know but it's an interesting story the capital of england gainsborough and here we are on the trent right here can you imagine the viking ships in about the i think it was the 11th century sailing they would have sailed this way against the current which would have been quite difficult there's no wonder they needed a rest when they got here when you think about it they must have been knackered i've just thought the name swain is an old viking name a viking king so i wonder if that's where the modern day name wayne came from that's interesting isn't it i'll tell you something if i were called wayne i'd be using that one I don't know if you can see that but there's a little statue which I wanted to see but like anywhere I seem to go these days any place everything's shut everything's getting probably demolished it says here I don't know what they're doing but everything's getting upgraded but then it never seems to stop does it they're always doing it I'll go by I'll just go back to the river for for a bit of effect wonder if I can get round this way yeah. I could do a jump across that couldn't I but yeah I'm not going to so that's the back of uh, that statue and she's there to commemorate the pilgrim women that made the perilous journey and because we always talk about the pilgrim fathers but what about the women so I'm going to sit here and tell you about this because it's quite interesting so I mean I don't even know that much I know I've got a basic knowledge of it but they were the separatists because they wanted to uh, break away from the church and practice a more sort of uh, Christian faith they, I think they thought that the, the church was more like Catholicism the, the Church of England completely probably wrong this but you know look it up yourself and they wanted to be sort of more devout and they started getting you know they'd have the private meetings and everything in that you know that big house i showed you <laughs> they'd have private meetings and they used to get persecuted you know and that happens all over people persecuted just because of their faith and they're only minding their own business you know so they took the perilous journey again that way as the as the vikings came that way how many hundreds of years previously the uh, pilgrims started that way and they sailed to Holland where they boarded the Mayflower and they sailed to America to discover, well they didn't discover America obviously, but they arrived uh, to spread the more Puritan ways in America. And so just think all me uh, people that are watching this video in America, you, you could, especially in that area, there you like the forebearers. So you've got a historical connection to the town of Gainsborough. Just think about that. So if you're feeling nostalgic and you fancy a trip, you can come back here, see where your forebearers started their journey, have a look at Pound Stretcher maybe. You could survey the, the demolition that's going on here. So that's your history lesson. I am um, going back to the van. There's another thing I want to see. There's another two things I want to see in Gainsborough before I go to my uh, stopover for the night. Are you a lot like me? Do you make a, f a funny noise as you get in your car or your van? I always go, ooh, as I get in. That's age, isn't it, that? Right, I'm going to take you to somewhere interesting, hopefully, if I, that's if I can find it. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going. It's going to be probably one of the best places I've ever been. So I've got to build the tension up because I might not find it. If I don't find it, then I'll tell you what it was going to be. In a, in a way like, look what you could have won. And something else I need to explain. 
this is sort of my life. When I'm not with Helena, when I'm not with my daughter, I'm just milling around, going to places, I do a bit of vlogging, and it's my life, and it's wonderful, and I love it. And I like to, I've started sort of reading up on places if I've got time, and I try and memorise these bits of history. But you know, do you ever watch Count Arthur Strong? So if you think my history is like a bit like that type, it's probably all wrong. But it don't matter, it's, it's thought that counts, isn't it? So take it all with a pinch of salt, and if you find it interesting, do your own research. But don't start coming in comments being all like, oh bloody hell. You know, it's a bit, it's light-hearted family entertainment. That's what it is. I'm an entertainer. I'm a family entertainer. It's a bit of fun. And while I'm on on about it, uh, that last video I did in Matlock, my comments about motorbikes, that triggered a few people. Now, 99% of my subscribers, 99.9% .9 of my subscribers know what I'm like and know it were a bit of banter. But I think people that are new to the channel, by the way, please subscribe. People that are new to the channel have watched that video and you're like, how very dare you criticize motorbikes? And I'm like, I'm not criticizing motorbikes. I'm just noisy ones. I think they'd be all right if they could have like a muffler on them. Like put some cotton wool round exhaust or something because I'm sat there trying to have my fish and chips and it would give me a heart attack every time a bloody motorbike went past. I'm, I've got sensitive hearing. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm off to find this awesome place. Let's go. There's a right tight barrier there, but I managed to get Dorothy underneath it. That's one of the advantages of having a, a small van. And I've come to this place. And it's just on the outskirts of Gainsborough. I don't know where I'm going. Which is the path? Which path should we take? We need to find what I'm looking for. I'm quite excited about this. Well, I found it. I'm a bit underwhelmed to be honest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you. Ta da! Can't even see it. Mr. Silly Arms. So that tree is called Mr. Silly Arms. And it's been voted. And it's been voted, I think. It don't look as good as I thought, to be honest. It's been voted England's best climbing tree. I'm, I, I don't... So there were a competition. I can't even read it. What is it, sir? Britain's best climbing tree. Mr. Silly Arms. And then it says tree climbing is undertaking at your own risk. I'm concerned it, it'll take my weight, to be honest. It'll be, it'll be like that sycamore tree incident if I break that arm off. Should I try it? It's an oak tree though, so... I wonder if I'm all right, pillar, if some old couple walks past and I'm up a tree. This can't take my weight, surely. That's what it's for. That's what I mean. They've advertised it to come and climb it. So, like Britain's easiest tree to climb, and I can't even get up that. So, I think that's as high up as I'm going. It would be irresponsible, wouldn't it, to climb up here and fall off? I mean, I could maybe get up on that bit, but I'm not as flexible as I once was. So welcome to my life. 51 year old climbing trees in a wood in Gainsborough. I think they just make stuff up, don't they? That weren't that good. I've seen a lot better trees, to be honest. 
there were a better tree than that in my mum and dad's old back garden. What do you think lives in there? Badgers? Fox? So it's a lovely little wood this, let down by that tree, there's a lot better trees just around me that you could climb I think. So anyway, I want to have a look on my map and have a look at this uh, pub stop and go there, I want to have some tea in pub because I've done no shopping uh, and then I'm going to need to do some video editing. So there you go. Mr. Silly Arms. I would go as far as to say Britain's most overrated tree. Pointless. It's even sponsored by Haribo. So it's just an excuse to get your kids to eat more sugary crap. Yeah, then you can climb this tree, Haribo. So this is where I'm going to stay and that's where I'm parked down there. I need to go in the pub and see them first and see what the crack is. So that's the waterfront inn. I've just met the people that own it or run it, Paul and Nina. It's lovely inside and I don't think the main kitchen's open on a, what day are we on? Wednesday? Thursday? I don't even know what day it is, I never do but they're doing some homemade pizzas later so I'm going to go in and get one of them and have a couple of beers so I'm just going to be parked here for now which will do me so I'm in the van obviously I've got to edit this video or start editing it because I'm going to probably film some more content well I'm filming this aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> so, if I want this to be on it, I'm going to have to upload it. Oh. So, I've been at that like a couple of hours. And uh, I've done like the first pass. What I do is I upload all my footage, which usually they can be three even four hours on this one there was like a couple of hours and i've cut that down to 33 minutes but then i'm going to be adding this bit and maybe something pub and maybe even something morning i don't know it depends so i've done that first pass uh, i'm gonna go and have my tea now and then i'll come back tonight with the you know fresh eyes and, and so it's like a being a sculptor you get this massive lump of marble <laughs> and you chip away at it and you start sculpting and sculpting and some videos i edit quite tight so that they tend to be the shorter ones but then some people like the sort of longer form ones as well so i like to mix it up a little bit so you have a tight one and then i'll have a longer one uh, and it keeps my interest up so so there you go anyway i'm quite tired now i'm going to go and have a pizza in this pub, a pizza and a pint. Happy days. Let's go. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm back in van. Oh, I need to sort this out. It squeaks this seat. It's only half nine. Do you know what? I enjoyed it in there. That pizza was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. And I'll tell you what I like about that place is that it's like family run and they're just really sort of attentive and the right want to make things work and they're trying hard and everything. So yeah, I recommend this place, really do. And it's in a lovely area. Uh, yeah, come and say hi and say I sent you. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might get in bed and watch a bit of telly. I might watch a bit of YouTube, I think, if I can get a signal. My signal's not right good. Let's check my signal. Oh, good morning.